they get a new case out in LA. It's the hottest day of the year and Echo Park Lake is completely frozen over. He's got a bunch of newbies in the LA office. So he calls Jack Thompson. He says, I need some guys with a little bit of experience. And Jack, being the guy that we all know and love, says, I know the perfect guy for the job. Tells Peggy that I've asked for her by name and sends Peggy out and to surprise me. So it's a little awkward. They kind of have this unspoken, undealt with relationship stuff going on while they're trying to save, sell this case of a lake mysteriously freezing, a woman uh, mysteriously found inside of the lake, frozen into a cube of ice. So, and this mystery is gonna lead them into a lot of the underbelly of what's going on in Hollywood at the time. So while all that's happening, there's this unspoken, undealt with tension that they're gonna have to deal with. On top of which, there's this new dynamic of now uh, Agent Souza's the boss. And so how does, how does he kind of have to play by the rules and figure out how to answer to the higher ups while Peggy is kind of breaking the rules and doing what Peggy does best? She's coming up against uh, the old boys club all over again this season. And that's going to be something that again and again, she's bumping up into. And the question is, who's she, who's she fighting for, right? She's fighting from within a system to try to make the system better. But again and again, she finds herself limited by that system and finding, that, and finding the limits of what this st society's structure can, can allow her to be. So there's always this question of, does she fight against the system and outside of the system, or does she fight within it and try to make it better? So you're gonna see that right at the center of what's happening in season two. Um, it's really interesting exploration of, um, of her place in that society, but also we watch it now and we can see a lot of issues playing out that are relevant today. Being the head the chief of the SSR for LA, it's about getting the job done. Whereas last season it was about being left out or about trying to get in on the action or be included. Now he's right into the action. He is the head of uh, SSR LA and he has got to hit the ground running. So I think what you see a lot this year is um, Peggy and Souza have been allowed to play with the big boys, right? Um, and so now it's about them becoming a part of the system and solving some crimes and they're actually trying to work within the system uh, and change it from within and kind of deal with their unresolved issues at the same time. Curry and Wynn, who play Whitney Frost and then Calvin Chadwick, Senator Calvin Chadwick, are amazing and they're amazing together. So they've built this big bad for this season that is such a perfect mirror and um, foil for Peggy's character. So that's what's really exciting for me as an actor is to see how perfectly that character is translated into this show. I think the magic of Agent Carter is it really explores a conundrum, right? And it's a conundrum that we actually can, uh, we can see almost better from a modern time. How can you be a successful woman? How can you be a woman who's the best at what she does in a society that doesn't know, that doesn't have a framework for that yet? And it's fun. It actually becomes fun because we see her um, pushing against it and bristling against it and breaking the rules. That's this show for me, is, is Peggy Carter breaking every single possible rule and breaking a couple heads too. That's, that to me is the show.